Hello and welcome to another vlog from the where we saw it, this time from Mexico City. And in this vlog we actually had a little bit problems with our microphone, that's why we are doing this voiceover right now with the microphone, but we didn't want to delete the vlog just because the tone didn't work in the first fragrance. And we have been in Cipolito for a few months actually, and on the beach we saw somebody who said in Mexico City you have to go to a coffee and try it, it's the best coffee. And for all of those of you who are following us for a longer time already, know that we made already a vlog about the best coffee in Mexico City, you can see it actually up there. And now we are heading to this supposed to be best coffee in Mexico City and we'll try it out for you. So let's see how that's gonna taste. But the ambience is a little nicer, let's say, the audience. You feel like it's a little bit more like you are in Mexico. This is a very, very touristic here. So, cheers. Mm. So, after this very good coffee, we're heading now to the next station. And that's going to be some shopping because we need some new clothes, new t-shirts, some shorts for the beach. Because we're going to spend some more time on the beach in the future. And then after that we head to the restaurant. So in the street you have a lot of street kitchens and uh, juice bars and you can have a big juice like this made to your desire or made to your, to your likings. So I took an orange juice with ginger, so I hope I get over my cold a little bit faster and a half a liter I think with this or maybe even more, it's only two US dollars, so really cheap. And you can see the shopping centers look exactly the same like all over the world and they have the same brands like everywhere. So let's see if we can find some stuff. So we have arrived in the restaurant and the owner of the restaurant is actually sitting there right next to me and one of the specialties of this restaurant are the mole and he recommends us to try a special one, it's like a mixture of the three different ones. Let's see what comes out of the kitchen and Marty is going to have 
Tuscini flowers as a starter with different kind of cheeses. No, no, there's only two. Oh, okay. Oh, you can have one. Oaxaca cheese and another one. one. So we will show you when it comes. Now we got the mole samples, and the chef will explain you which one is which one. Okay. Let's have a look. Mm. You told me? Okay. Yeah. This is um, mole jarocho, mole poblano, adobo. That's a kind of sauce. It's not really mole. This is mole verde or pipian verde. Pipian is, means seeds. So this is pumpkin seeds. And this is pipian rojo. It's already made by all kind of uh, chili seeds. Okay? okay. So this is a mole jarocho. This is made with all kind of fruit, like guava, um, bananas, apples, um, peach, pears, and grapes. So this is my signature. I made this, invented. Okay, this is a traditional mole poblano. Okay, it has the chocolate. It's marvelous. I do it here in the restaurant too. This is adobo. This is fantastic. This has a sweet, a bitter sweet taste. It also has a lot of, a lot, it's made by chile guajillo and um, bananas. This is mole verde. This comes from the, it's original from this part of the Mexico, okay? The um, Mexico center. And it's made by pumpkin seeds and a lot of green stuff. And this is, this is called pipian, okay? It has a little bit of peanut over there. And also it's made by a lot of the chile, chile seco seeds, the dry, Chile seeds, yeah. seeds. Okay? So, be my guest. Some now, more. probably this, these are not going to be in this one. So spicy. Okay. Okay? Gracias. This is a... This is, this is the jarocho. That's what I made here. Okay? Okay? Yeah. This is the chocolate one, the, the, the plum, the, the traditional, okay? This is fruity, sack. You have the chocolate, it's sweet. Okay? This is the ber, ber. It has the pumpkin seeds and a lot of green stuff, to green tomato. And, okay? Spicy, that one, this is adobo. This is made by chile guajillo and contains bananas. That's really spicy. Okay, and this is pipián. This is this can be a lot of spicy. Okay? Is this for me? This is not for you. <laughs> huh? It is? So you see, so that is not really a Mexican <laughs> yet, but maybe you will be in the future. So, but would you still want say, to try one of these? Oh, with, uh, super this delicious. Is kind of you have to come here and try and this it is, yourself. This is the green one. Zucchini flowers, yes. two different, with two different cheese, um, and with the uh, mole of the house. That's a mole jarocho. So this is a if you built zucchini more. flour with mole jarocho, mole of the house. And there's two different cheeses inside. Mm. So the main course has arrived and this is the typical... The mole verde, or pipian verde, is made by um, sunflower seeds. You can see over there. And there's a chicken breast. Maybe That's you chicken can breast. open it a little bit so that people can see what, how it does look inside. It's Very chicken tender breast. chicken breast. Yummy. And rice. And I have the other mole. Mole poblano. With the traditional has the chocolate. And it's served with... Housemade tortillas. Tortillas. No Mexican food without tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> today we have churros which is like a Spanish dessert but very popular in Mexico with chocolate and uh, burnt milk sauce so that
that was our typical Mexican lunch. And this place does not have any tourists. So if you want a real Mexican experience, this is the place to go. Food is super and the ambiance is just typical Mexican. Absolutely great. So after lunch, we are back in the accommodation. And what I'm doing here is coffee. And this is a very smart thing to have in a hotel room. Just simple local coffee beans, a grinder, and a French press. And the coffee smells excellent. And of course, this is Mexican coffee. So, thank you for watching another video from Mexico City, a city which we love a lot. Uh, safe travels always, and see you in the next destination. Bye.